So we're just getting some of the, well, some of the sheep ready for the abattoir tomorrow morning. Um, so these are last year's lambs, so these are hoggett. So they are a year and a half oldish. Um, so some of them are going tomorrow, so five are going tomorrow, and then some are going, I think, a week later. Um, so we're going to basically pick out the biggest ones, which we haven't got scales here at the moment. Um, so we're just going to have to do it by eye and by feel, really. Um, yeah. Also, I think if this one is going to go, we're going to have to re-tag him, because he's lost part of his ear. And we need two tags to be able to take him to slaughter. So some nice, uh, nice meat here. So just got back from the abattoir where we took some, well, we took five sheep, so five hoggets, so about 18 month old. Um, weathers. This is the dark one, which is a, it's a random throwback actually of it. It's a Shetland grey face Dartmoor cross, but the mum was brown, the dad was white, and the two lambs came out dark grey. But this year her lambs came out white, so I'm not sure exactly the same cross, but different. Um, but you can see it's really quite nice, sort of grey. So I'm going to just salt it now. which is just the first stage of preserving it before going to the tannery. So normally we've got a big bag of salt, but we realised we didn't have any. We just have to go to the co-op. Joys of the corner, like a local shop. You see there's a random hole there. I'm not quite sure where that's from. Down the back. I would imagine when someone picked it up they um put their finger through it, so it might have been near the I'm pretty careful, it's probably somewhere at the abattoir. So it's a similar process to if you make ever anyone that's ever um dry cured bacon. rubbing it in obviously baking it would be a sugar salt mix but we're quite lucky we've got a um, an organic tannery literally just a couple of miles from us one of the few in the country one of the joys of being in a area with of small holders and small farms. So it's the first salting. Have another one tomorrow. And then it'll go to the tannery. Um, it's a Devon and Cornwall grey face Dartmoor cross, so again white but really tight curls. That's a grey face Dartmoor, so much longer, straighter bits. And that's a it's really unusual Shetland Dartmoor cross, which is a grey colour. So brown moret U, Shetland brown moret U, with a obviously a white grey faced Dartmoor ram Edwin, and produced a pair of twin grey crossbred lambs. Um, we were pleasantly surprised at the time. She had white lambs this year, unfortunately, but um, not that there's anything wrong with white lambs. But it's quite nice to have a bit of variety. And this is a, another grey faced Dartmoor, which is slightly longer and slightly curlier. You can see not as curly as the, um, the Devon and Cornwall. Anyway, so these are old, it's going to get bagged up now, and we're going to take them to the Welsh Organic Tannery just up the road. So, just got to Maros today to check our lambs, and we just realised we're one short. So, Looking around, we've seen where one's obviously gone. So one's obviously been predated and shredded. You can see, I would imagine a fox. So 
we've lost one of our grey faced Dartmoor lambs. Literally, the only thing left is wool, and you can see a trail to the fence. Uh, he or she has obviously made a couple of trips. But literally, the, the, there's just no meat at all. No bones, no meat, literally just some wool. How is there wool over on that fence post? They rub on the fence posts here, so... It's on the top, though. Maybe a bird picked it up. So, one of the downsides of foxes in the countryside is... Our lambs feed them. Which is quite frustrating. So, the rest of the lambs are sort of... Well, so the weathers are down there, you can see them. And then the ewe lambs are over there. Yeah, this slam is no more. So you can see how uh, well, a couple of our sows are really enjoying their apples. Uh, Sid has spread around their pen, including the top of a great big mound of soil that's been created. Um, so people think of pigs as great big massive kind of lumps of animals that don't do very much, but actually in um, our situation they really are quite active so you can see they're very able to move and jump and run um, well, I'm not sure she's running now there's plenty of apples for her to eat but um, but yeah So we've just bedded sour and piglets with some fresh straw, haven't we? The piglets are rather happy to see some straw, they've just got a fresh bale. We ran out yesterday, um, So yeah, they're a bit overstrawed really, but I thought I'd let them enjoy themselves. Now I've started talking, they've all kind of calmed down a bit. But... So different litter of piglets enjoying the straw, getting fresh straw. Um, obviously these are Welsh cross, so our old spot cross pig or Tina is technically dinky. Um, and her Welsh cross piglets. Can't see very many, I'm sure. They're cozying down. She's got ten I think. This is little Vic. He's just come and say hello. <laughs> you can see he's just very friendly little boar. So he's like mm, six months old, I think, at the moment. Just, I think he was, off the top of my head, I think he might have been born May the 27th, but I'd have to check. He's about six months, he will take. Got a bit of mud on the bottom of his ears. Earwax. Oh, he's got earwax. Oh, okay. You can see he's a very long pig. Muscle definition as well. Yeah, he's a nice shapely pig. Kind of were originally thinking of keeping him as a boar as a replacement for Big Vic. Um, his ears are maybe a little bit small. We're being like hypercritical. His ears are a little bit short. But you can't see that. Yeah, but you can see he's quite a, he's a long shapely pig. Nice. Yeah, for a young pig, he's really quite nice. He's a, he's a bit too good for meat, really, but he's all, he's related to all by one of our sows, I think. So everything by Dink, Dinky, the spotty one, he's related to. So it's a bit hard to justify us keeping him for just her. We were hoping we'd have some. Yeah, but is the dad? Oh, because his dad's worked there, and now it's his air dad's worked there. Yeah. So, um, we'll probably try to sell him as a boar, I think, because he is, he just is a bit nice. We've kind of got quite attached to him. We were hoping to have some new gilts by now, some different bloodlines, so we could have kept him to use them on them. What's this, Dad? He's got a cool tail. 
he likes a good rub, he, he loves a good rub. He puts his tail down when you rub it. You see he's a heck of a nice looking pig. But hopefully we'll find someone that wants to use him as a boar, even though he's maybe not going to be registered. Although he could register him, it's just... I don't know, what does everyone think? Does everyone think his ears are big enough? We look at him. See, his ears are just, they should be coming down towards his nose, really. It should be coming down towards, should basically meet at the, uh, his nose. He's still quite young for that, but they're, they're just a little bit smaller than I might like them. <laughs> he's but very soft. You shouldn't really do this, should you? Well, he's very well socialised, aren't you, little Vic? He's a very well socialised boar. So we'll see. I'd like him to go to a to a farm, someone that uh, yeah, working home exactly. I'd like him to go to a farm where someone would use him as a um, as a boar. I know people that like smaller ears on pigs. We for us, we like them to be for the Welsh to be down to the tip of their nose, really. At his age, they probably wouldn't be quite, but. Yeah, well, we'll see. We'll see what happens over the next few weeks. So we are at, well, our land at Summer Hill. Um, just me and Sid. Hi. Um, so, um, well, he played rugby today. It's Langham uh, for Narbeth under 11s. But, um, 65 mil. Yeah, so he, they did quite well today. He's quite excited still, so he's probably going to start bouncing around at some point. We'll run for versions. Just want to add that bit as well. Yeah, you should have. You should have had conversion. Yeah. Um, anyway, so we're just going to go and check these sheep. Um, see, they've heard we're coming. You coming over? Hello, Forge. <laughs> Ooh, you're a big lad, aren't you? You see most of them have been served, most of them actually, a lot of, well, a lot of them, it's really hard to count because they keep moving around, but um, a lot of them got served on the first crayon, which is the first two weeks, so we're basically, we're keeping the ram in for six weeks, um, so he's two weeks on an orange crayon, two weeks on a blue crayon, and... It's green though, it was blue, it was orange, green, blue, wasn't it? Ah, sorry, okay, two weeks on an orange crayon two weeks on a green crayon and two weeks on a blue crayon. So you can see a lot of them have got orange on the bums. <laughs> the so these ones here. But then there's some, yeah, there's quite a lot with orange on. So he served most of them, I think, on the first run. Um, but you can see, I don't think, like this one here, I don't think she's been served. That's lucky. Actually, lucky, she might have orange on. It's just got a bit dirty from somewhere, hasn't she? All right, Forge. But this is the brute. <laughs> That's the big lad. The brute. He's not a brute, he's a gentle giant. Gentle giant. So you can see, yeah, most of them are orange. So this is Flo, hello. This is Flo. Flo, this is Sid's you. So she got served. She was actually the first to get served, wasn't she, Sid? Yes. You seem to remember. You got very excited. You didn't forge server on like day one. So um see actually. Quite nice with the clouds. So yeah. Um, so yeah, there's not. Actually, most of them are actually orange, aren't they? Some of them had green paint on before, which is a little bit. Mm-hmm. It's a bit confusing. And there's a couple with blue paint on before. Although that, that you over there with the really blue berm, that is definite crayon. It's, it's a definite blue crayon mark. You can see there's green paint just above it from people that had them before. But the blue crayon. Hello again, Forge. 
He's hoping I've got more food in the bucket, but I haven't. Anyway, so that's probably about it. I don't think it's okay-ish. Still a bit of grass here. I'll be alright for another day or two. So he's actually still maintaining his condition quite well, really. He's got 49 news in here, I think. Yeah. And he's, you know, he's worked fairly hard by the looks of it. Um, and he's still, he's not thin by any stretch of the imagination. So he's, he's still, you know, he's still, he's still, main, he's still maintaining his condition, which is good. 